What is up, my Fickenbricks family? This is Dr. Lucky, coming to you from Fickenbricks headquarters, the Lego Asylum, with Ficken Hall number 135, hashtag Lego personal collection. This is a personal collection haul from yours truly, Dr. Lucky at Ficken Bricks. This is going to be a two Lego shop at home order haul, as well as a very special surprise box from Hoosier Bricks at the end of said haul. So we're going to jump right into it right away, get going here on this haul video. And I'm going to show you guys this first. This was sent to me from a a uh, YouTuber, Instagrammer, somebody out there in the community sent this to me. I all, all I know is it was from California. That was the return uh, post stamp said on the on the package. But I got this. Super excited. We just saw the movie yesterday. Uh, full review coming on Holland and Ballin channel tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Check your local listings for times in your area. But really cool. Glad to add that to the Polybag collection. Um, hopefully one of these days I'll get to find out who's been sending me all this stuff and I'll be able to properly thank said person. But we're going to get right into the first Lego shop at home order. And we're going to start out with this thing right here. It was a globe. You want to call it a Christmas ornament globe. There we go. It's got gold and some trans yellow in here. It's awesome. I was going to try to get enough of these to build, actually not to build, to put on my Christmas tree this year come Christmas time. But they ran out. They were on a good price, good sale price. They're in the sale section of a Lego shop at home. So I only ended up getting 10 of them. So I wanted to get a little bit more so I could decorate the Christmas tree with these. But 10 is pretty cool. I can definitely put a good dent on the Christmas tree next year or this year with these ornaments. So I got five in this order. I'll show you the five in the next order. Um, I got two more of these. Again, these were on sale in the, in the old sale section there. Um, I like giving these away on birthdays. Um, I built one of these for my mother on her birthday for a 67th birthday. So um, just kind of something cool, you know, with the interchangeable numbers and you can keep using them over and over again. So uh, maybe somebody at the office or whatever, but I like having these on on hand. On, ooh, I like having these in my hands so I can use them when I want to. So got two of those. That's pretty cool. Um, two of said creepy Santas because I got to get one for the build and one for the collection. So we got two of those. Tried to get the creepy, uh, what else, but they were already sold out, so I couldn't get any of those. But two of these bad boys right here, collection, build. This is going on my wall at my work. So in my cube at my work, this is going to be built and used. Um, I do have a, some collectible minifigs around the outside wall of my cube, and this is going to add, you know, a little calendar touch in Lego style to that uh, to my cubicle there so pretty cool had to grab it want to build it will build it probably take it to work on Tuesday because we're off tomorrow with the holiday so that was the first order and with uh, that order I ended up getting this bad boy right here which is awesome super excited to get this I already framed it really kind of doesn't fit in the frame but it kind of does just a little bit of white space on either side but it's awesome again we saw this movie yesterday very, very cool. Probably one of the cooler of the four posters. So that was the first Lego Shop at Home order. Second Lego Shop at Home order was, uh, let's see, oh, you already saw this. So I'm going to start with that. Again, five more of those. Pretty cool. Christmas tree this year. Look what's going on at 10 of those things right there. All right, what else we got here? Um, this one here, love the vignette sets. These are awesome. Mrs. Fickenbricks picked me up one of these when she went to New York City. A couple months back, and I had to get another one because I want to build one, throw one in the collection. Just an awesome set. Love these little vignette sets. I'm glad they're doing these again. Just very, very cool features. A lot of nice little pieces in here, too. A little fountain there and stuff like that. So just a very, very cool little mini set. 126 pieces of freaking awesomeness. Uh, what else we got? Easter set, vignette set, another one. Really, really cool. Brick Revolution talked about this on an episode or two back of Holland and Ballin because it does have some pretty cool pieces in there. Most of which being the cool colored eggs that they have. And then I think the torso on this, this character there is pretty cool too. So we've got the dolphins on the torso. Pretty sweet. But again, two of these. One for the collection and then one to build for myself. Alright, what else we got here? We got this thing here which I, I think is really cool. It's kind of like a starter pack, you know, battle pack type thing. I think it's like, I think it's called a starter pack, but very, very cool for the new Batman movie, uh, Batman Lego movie. 
got some good characters in there and it's got the old bat signal so these are actually sold out right now on shop at home so i don't know if they're gonna get any more of these in so i was glad to grab one for the collection so that's pretty sweet pick that bad boy up and very very excited to get this set this set will be built 70911 the penguin arctic roller so again very excited to get this too many figs here penguin and batman this will be built i love the car love the vehicle here it's very very cool penguin on his little uh, jet ski popping out of the trunk there it's pretty sweet it's got a lot of playability features to it and it looks like a big old just old pimp car from back in the day so very cool maybe i can get brick revolution to buy one of these and we can live build it again like we do with the scarecrow vehicle pizza delivery vehicle so so that's that that's again personal collection will be built and with my 75 dollar purchase I picked up one of the Disco Batman tiers of Batman Poly bags. Very cool. Two very, very cool figures. And now that I've seen the movie itself, all the figures now come into play. And I know where a lot of them have come from and where all these new figures are going to be uh, seen. Because, um, again, I saw the movie. So a lot of a lot of interest now in a lot of the minifigs from this, these sets, which I know Brick Revolution was talking about the same thing yesterday because he saw the movie. So now it's like on a rush to try to get the minifigs because they are really, really cool minifigs. So. And the second of four posters. Again, quick back in black. Awesome, awesome poster. Will Arnett is Batman, and it's just already framed. Very, very cool. You can see me glaring in the background there but again you came to see the haul not me so that's the second shop at home order i'm going to finish up this haul video with a very special box from hoosier bricks and hoosier bricks is part of the holland ballin family thick and bricks family he's holland ballin army he's been around for a while um if you guys don't know him check him out please he's uh he does have an instagram account he's on youtube um so just definitely check him out he's a really cool guy awesome awesome dude and he put a little note on the back of this card and it says fick thank you for all the support if there is anything else i can help with let me know p.s no charge for the extra polys so i'm going to show you the extra polys at the end and basically what happened is his meyer store around him actually has poly bags that we don't have yet around this area and you know dr lucky being the poly bag collector that he is loves him some poly bags so he had to, he contacted us and said you know want me to pick these up for you I said, of course, we will hook you up. It's definitely not a problem. So he sent these out two days later. I had a box full of poly bags, which is awesome, awesome. So we got the Ninjago one there. We got the Nexo Knights one there. Again, he sent two. One for me to build, one for the personal collection. We got two of the Roadster that I've yet to see in my targets around my area here. I'm sure eventually it will. they will be out, but not yet. So... Very glad to have two of those, and Brooklyn Bricks hooked me up with one, so now I do have three of those, which is awesome. And I think, yep, this is probably one of my favorite poly bags to date right now. It's the old Chameleon. It's just an awesome looking build. There's only 53 pieces in it, but look at that. I mean, it's just cool the way they put the pieces together to make it actually look like a Chameleon. So, just kind of really cool there. Really excited. I'm putting one of these together, probably in the show tonight. So, um, just cool with the fly build on the, on the tongue there. And he did throw in an extra poly bag that he found, again, popped up at Meyer. It's 33 pieces, but it's really freaking cool. That is the, we're going to call that a, what, a sea turtle? Yeah, I'm going to call it a sea turtle. Hopefully that's the name of it. If it's not, I'm um, sorry. I do apologize if it's not, but sea turtle sounds about right. So good, cool little turtle there, 33 pieces. These were two throw-ins at the end, so these were kind of freebies from him. But again, I will definitely hook him up um with for helping us out with that so again guys that is the haul for this evening like comment subscribe and remember life is better with lego